Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I am excited to be doing my monthly color collaboration with Julie E. Um, if you haven't checked out her channel, I will put the link in my description box below. Um, she's a fantastic artist and she works a lot with Fluid Art, but she also does um, alcohol inks and mixed media stuff. She's a brilliant artist and I'm so happy that we're continuing our monthly color collaborations together. Um, she uh, once again chose the color this month uh, I tried to talk her into something else, but as soon as she said this color orange, I said that's the perfect color for summer. So yes, let's do that. So we are uh, both doing um, a color palettes based on the color orange. In fact, this color is a custom color, uh, Amsterdam Vermilion, that I have uh, mixed equal parts with DecoArt 24 karat gold to make it, it brightens it up a little bit, but it also gives it a fantastic metallic shine. And then I also have um, Liquitex Basics Deep Violet mixed with 24 karat gold also. Um, I think there's also some, this is a leftover color, I think there's also some uh, permanent blue violet from Amsterdam in that. 
Um, and then this is permanent blue, <laughs> permanent blue violet from Amsterdam mixed with uh, this little piggy in constellation. And then the final color is uh, Amsterdam crimson. And I'm sorry, not the final color. Uh, the final color is Amsterdam titanium white. So you've already seen me do the background color or background pour. This was a um, grenade uh, cup. Uh, sandwich pour. Um, Jeremy Massey from Massey Art Studios calls it a marbling, the marbling technique. Um, I think it turned out perfect for what I want to do with this. I love running the lip of my cup through a, a flip cup and creating these additional lines that go through here. Creates great motion. I can't wait to add a circular pattern on top of this with my radial groove pour. So I'm going to move this over uh, so I don't get any paint on it while I'm layering my cup or layering my groove scoop let's go ahead and put that there all right so we're going to layer this up and we're going to start let's just put our colors out here so we, we see what we're doing orange i definitely want orange in the center and this uh, i tend to pour with this on the center so i'm going to put the orange there. I forgot those are too close. So I'm going to put orange in this first chamber. And I'm going to try not to completely fill this chamber this time. I'm just going to put enough in. I don't want to create a huge puddle. Um, and beside that, I'm going to put a little bit of the white. and a little bit of the pink. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna skip a couple. In fact, I'm gonna skip two and I'm gonna move over to the red. We'll do the same exact pattern. We'll put white in between. And then we'll do the purple, the blue violet. chambers I am going to fill up a little bit more. So what do we want to do? I'm going to skip two more again and I'm going to repeat the orange and I am going to fill this up a little more. There we go. These paints are very thin. The consistency is almost like water. Um, it helps, since these chambers are very narrow, it helps the, the paint to flow out. Let's see, do I want white again? Yeah, I'm gonna repeat the pattern. And I'm gonna put, use that pink violet again. meet you down at the uh, at the pottery wheel and we'll get this going
so cool i love it oh my god i this is so amazing i love 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 this tool look at this chaos but controlled here in the center i'm sorry the light in here this is mostly natural light so it's um not showing true to color but wow this is spectacular let's get in here so you can see i the confetti drips everywhere really make this for me. I love it. But the, the concentric circles, the splatters, the way that the colors kind of blend together because it's so fluid. Oh, look at these splatters in here. Look at, aren't those cool? I love it. Uh, and then I started there's uh, to get uh, some of those fine lines coming out in a different way. Um, I just kind of um, moved this scoop like uh, up and down rather than holding still and created these splatters that come out from the center. Wow, I love that too. But you can still see the pattern in the background for the negative space. I think it gives it so much depth. It's really cool. I can't wait to see this one dry. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for the dry results. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to have time. Hmm. I'll show the dry results in the next video because this is really very cool. I love this a lot. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to watch Julie E's uh, video when she posts later this afternoon. And I will link that in the description box below. And um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And come back and see me sometime.